I cannot believe Sunday this weekend has gone so crazily quickly. How is everyone? I hope you are all well. My name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. So today I'm going live over here on YouTube with an unboxing video. And would you believe I don't even have the catalogue out for what I'm going to show you. I don't even know where they are. So what I will show you is <laughs> packets of catalogues which I got delivered yesterday. So I'm going to be showing you today an unboxing video. This is my part two video because I was lucky enough to do a pre-pre-pre-order. Hey Lisa, um, from the catalogue as part of my on stage um my on stage privileges i know brenton did that as well hey brenton hey shaz hey leslie oh my god you're all here i am currently child free and we've been child free since um sunday night so i'm hoping they don't come home hey jacqueline hey lisa i'm hoping they don't come home in the middle of this because they've left the camp they're on and we think they've gone somewhere for lunch we're not sure, but that's what we're thinking. So products from our celebration catalogue, which, oh, let me see if I can grab these without causing an avalanche, um, which are free products for a $90 spend in January and products from our mini catalogue. So I'll definitely tell you, the birds being loud outside. I went, oh my God, what's that sound? Um, I'll definitely tell you which products you can purchase and which products you can earn. So my box arrived yesterday and I had to help a friend um, move yesterday. Hey Peggy, how are you? I know the new catalogs are gorgeous. It's very hard. Sorry, I am actually stopping a craft a lunch. It is actually really, really hard to not buy it all. There, are, Of course, there are some things that just aren't my style, but there are a lot of things that are totally my style. Um, so I have put aside my Christmas cards to come here and bask in the love of new products. So while the house is quiet, except for the hum of the air conditioner, because it's a hot day today, 28 degrees. It doesn't seem me saying that 28 degrees for a summer day is warm, but we've had a weirdly cool summer so far and we are, what's the date today? I don't even know what the date is. Um, we're 11 days into summer and this is our first warmish day. Hello, Miss Sheila. Okay, I've got so... Oh, I wonder, Peggy, if the sweets that... Oh, 35. Oh, no, thank you, Leslie. You can keep 35. Um, oh, no, I don't want... Okay, they're two polar opposites. I think I will take my down the middle here and stick with 28 degrees because I definitely don't want to do minus 14, Lisa. Oh my God, is it snowing at minus 14 or is it wet? That's that's the question. Get back to me. So I have, oh, I have put everything, including my first lot of things in a basket. So we're going to be dipping in and out of this basket here today. I just have it sitting on a chair beside me. So David can't come and annoy me because he can't get to me. No snow, no wet, just cold. Do you know what? That chair is a really bad idea unless we get David to turn off the overhead light because I'm going to flip you guys around even though it's an unboxing because you can get a better view looking down. Hey David, would you mind turning off the overhead light? That was a yep. So let's flip around. David will turn off the light and I will start somewhere. I will start somewhere. I'll show you um, the rest of the papers, but I've realized I missed a pack of paper. So it's gone on to my next demonstrator order. I must say it's not my favorite pack of paper, but I can definitely use it and it's lovely. And I am going to be doing a paper share. Thank you. I am going to be doing a paper share um, 
when the catalogue comes out. I'll advertise it in the next week or so. Um, so you can get a 6 by 6 sampler pack of all the designer series papers and specialty papers in the mini catalogue, not the celebration. Although you never know, I may pardon me, pop some things in. I did have to throw down some food before I got here. Hello, Miss Lorraine. Okay, let's flip around and let's get started. And everyone can join me in loving what we've got going today. Just let me do that. Go on to live chat, not top chat, so I don't miss anybody. So... Hoping this works smooth as silk since I don't have to get up and fluff around today with the light. Flick us around. I have nothing on my desk yet. No sneak peeks. I shall move my bottle of water. You don't need to see that hands down. Thank you. Get some focus. Get a little bit of zoom. Was that too much? Not enough. Let's go down a titch more. Jeez, my mat's filthy. Uh, up and tilt. Up and tilt and I think we're fine. No, we're not straight. Especially hard when you've got a grid mat down to actually get it straight. Okay, I think that's as good as we... Are going to get. I've had Louisa in and out of here this morning because uh, I think she's missing her children because they've been away on a karate camp all weekend. I do wonder how, yes, I can move that. Why are names coming up in different colours? I'm not sure, Lisa. I can see everyone's names in black. Yeah, I'm the same as Sheila. Maybe refresh? I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay, so I am going to start at the very start here and start with a bundle that I wasn't sure I was actually going to get. It was on my question mark list and it's called the Ginkgo Branch. And would you believe... Oh, have I? Haven't I? No. I did not open this packet. I must have got totally distracted. Um, I saw this in the catalogue and I went, oh, we do generally have some, it is open. We do generally have some kind of ginkgo in the catalogue, but I liked this one because it was kind of less Asian styling in the ginkgo and I could see myself using it for a few more things than just ginkgo. So we've got our sentiments and it is a red rubber stamp so it is clean so it still goes with our clear blocks and these are the dies. So we've got a nice label for all of our sentiments which is good i really like the sentiments and we've got three pieces to cut out our three shapes and then we've got two detail pieces and it's the detail pieces in the catalog that really really caught my attention so i cannot wait to play with them ah it did go well, it did. Um, a couple of people ended up um, not being able to come. But my hope today is, Lorraine, that I get your team bits and bobs in the mail to you. Although I was down your way yesterday helping a friend move. But um, yeah, that wasn't my priority to pop in and see you. Do you? Oh, I do it for the circle, but... Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird. Well, hopefully you can deal with it, Lisa. But, um, I was, so yeah, sorry. I was making sure I was talking to the right person there. So the, this is a bundle, obviously, normal bundle and save 10%. Our next one is, so these things aren't in bundles because I didn't, I bought one full bundle and that was it. And I've bought two bundles in the catalogue. 
This is Conversation Bubbles, and I thought this was just really, really, really cute. Now, I do want to check something in here. Ah, so the ones that are shown with words, the words are actually in the bubbles. Ah, I thought they were separate, but that still works. So I've got lots of awesome sentiments here, and then we have the... I don't know what David is doing, but he's making a lot of noise. We're trying to slightly clean up the kids' rooms. Yeah, uh, Brenton, I got the, I think I got the ginkgo with my stamp and rewards. Um, so it was on my question mark list of depending on how much money I spent, uh, where things were at. Okay, let's see if I can get this out. So what do we think of the conversation bubbles? Now, don't forget, if you are commenting, because the comments are delayed, that you tell me which set you're talking about, just so then I can appropriately comment back. <laughs> uh -uh. I was waiting for someone to be jealous. Okay, now we have the dives. Oh, it's nice to have some little stars and hearts. They're always useful on a project. We have oh, our flower die. So that's a star that we can cut out. And we just have some hearts. I love that we're going to get some embossed details in these. They're quite nice. So I think with these, you get two different pieces. You get the frame and then you get the center piece as well. So that's very, very useful. I did buy that for something a bit different because I've always had, I don't know, I always read comics as a kid, like the comics in the newspapers and that. So I think I've always had things for conversation bubbles. <laughs> Ah, Brenton, I'm really pushing your um, your limits at the moment, aren't I? Okay, so I am now grabbing out the bundle that I got. So I'm going to flip through and find the paper as well. Um, what's the name of the paper? Hmm. I haven't got a catalogue at hand to... Um, grab the, the 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 name of the paper would be something in the rain don't tell me i didn't buy it either oh my dear word this is not good for ordering at midnight i must remind myself not to do that well i found my catalogs just let me try and grab them out they were squirreled away so I don't get too distracted by them. So I found them. Now I've just got to quickly look it up. Well, Louise is in trouble. Okay, I'm, I unfortunately, I have to look this up off screen. For legal reasons, I cannot show the catalogue. And I hope you understand. So we're playing in the rain. Page 51. So for those playing along at home, page 51 is where we're at. And the name of the paper is Rain or Shine. Maybe I think I bought that paper in the first lot. Maybe I didn't. Rain or Shine. Let's have a look. Is that? Hmm. I actually, if I bought the bundle, because I put in the whole bundle, so that's very interesting. We said page fifty-one, didn't we? All shine. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up because I don't have the paper. Okay, someone's going to have to remind. No, you're special. <laughs> 
Oh my dear word. Okay, so I have all the products except for the paper. That's annoying because I swear, hmm, very perplexing. Okay, so we have the playing in the rain stem set with the cute turtle raccoon. No, I don't know. Is he fox? And the rabbit. And I love, I love a good set of clouds. I just thought this was such a cute set. It is one of our cling red rubber stamps. So I will take those somewhere this week and put them together. It may not actually be karate because it's graduation week. So I'll actually have to watch the children and the husband do their karate during their graduation. So we have this gorgeous... This is just one of our normal embossing folders. So it's not 3D. Um, and this is raindrops. So it actually goes that way. But if I used it in other directions other than raindrops, it's actually a very, very versatile embossing folder. So that's what I thought. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Okay, now I will put that back together. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I know what David's doing. My lawn people put lawn clippings in my um, in my clean washing, which I wasn't very happy about. So I now have lawn clippings on my bedroom floor. So David is shaking out all the clothes so I don't have lawn clippings. Okay, so these are the dies that go with playing in the rain. Um, and we get clouds, we get the three animal shapes, we get some bow ties for them, which I think will be really, really cute. Um, do we get, I think that might be a die for the flowers. We've got a die for the puddle got the beautiful um i'll put it this way so it makes more sense a bridge Are these hmm two butterflies i don't know what this piece is oh i have to work it out but i like that we can create a scene so we've got obviously got the clouds we've got the grass We've got the tree stump. Oh, we've got two lots of grass, actually. So that makes making a scene really easy because you've got two butterflies, two bits of grass, and you want, suppose you want a tuft on either side of that. Mm, I like that. Thank you, David. Oh, good. Yeah, ah, a kite. Of course. Oh, good, good, good observation there, Lisa. Hmm. And we have, this is literally being cut open because my hands cannot do Ziploc bags. Open and rip. And these, I'm not going to open them because there are a bazillion pieces, 300 pieces to be exact. I'm sure they do that by weight. And they are little foam flower embellishments. They are actually called loose daisy embellishments. So I'm hoping you can get a good look at them there. But the little pieces of foam, look, they are different uh, with some are wider, some aren't, but they are super duper cute. Oh no, I'm not missing part of the kite because we've got these pieces here. So you've got the kite here and then these are the, they're not actually bow ties for the critters, but they are um, the ties for the tail. So I like that. I like that a lot because it looks like the bunny could be um, doing it. I like that. I might see what other people do with it. Oh, oh, you did a shaker card with them. That is very, very cool. Okay, and now I have some a single stamp set. So this is Watercolor World. So this is shown at 85% on the front. 
and it is a whole card front so once again red rubber apparently i'm loving the red rubbers um and i didn't get photo polymers there is no no there is a diamond shape with the tail okay cool i will work that out now i'm actually thinking in the catalog pardon what what oh okay they are on their way home i can't show you the catalog again but i did quickly want to check something whether some of these were available in cling no okay it just happens i chose the stamps that are red rubber okay let's look at some of our cute um, embellishment so these are our mini and these are brand new these are our mini blending brushes so they come in a set of three let's see if I can open this packet which I can and just for a size comparison we've got our normal and our minis so these are super cute and great for more detailed colouring, although you can use the edge of these. These are just smaller and will be better for those um, situations where you just want to be a bit more precise. So I generally have a one, for, one for each colour. So that's orange, that's yellow. That's red. Oh my God, how have I got so much crap over me today? Apparently it's it. I've got, oh, from the bottom of the box. I know what it's from. Um, I have a light red, a deeper red, pink. Yep. So I've got lots of different ones, but these are the minis. But I was only allowed to buy one, which was a bit sad, but that's okay. I will get more. Now, we have lots of beautiful embellishments. These are opaque gems. So, these are our faceted gems, and they are gorgeous. So, I'm assuming we've got white, fresh freesia, melon mambo, and gorgeous grape. That's just my guess, because I haven't... Normally, I write the colours on the back, so I just need to grab it. And these are the pastel adhesive sequins so we've got gold mm, petalish pink but they are nice and you get two sheets of those which is awesome and i love the sequins without the holes in them so they call them all confetti and um, they are gorgeous now these are called milky dots so they're not totally clear they do have a milky consistency to them where is my open end let me i don't want to grab them because i'll fear i will um i'll pull some of them off just showing you the clearish ones at the top as well so then i'm i'm not popping that back so they're the um they're the embellishments that i got now let's have a look i didn't get any stamp sets to go with these but i did get two packs of paper so this is the country floral lane and this is the country gingham did i yes i did open this yay so let's have a look at this country gingham i'm just going to give it a flick through so you get the same patterns in the coordinating colors to the dsp so six by six for this and 12 by 12 for the paper hello corinne how are you okay now this country floral paper it's just caught on the edge here there we go right okay so we have the lovely hearts so you get your normal two pieces of each or you've got hearts and crosses on the back oh 
Ooh, very big, cute hearts on there. This reminds me of my friend who loves everything French. I think this is quite a French-inspired paper. And we get the larger pattern of those flowers with the hearts in them. Then on the back, have an argyle with hearts. Let me, why won't you do this for me? There we go. Then these actually match a punch. So there is a punch to punch out the heart, the leaves and the other heart. So that's a bit nice. Then we have this pattern with the pink hearts on the back. So that's actually a bit different. It's, it's lovey, it's hearty. And I don't mean as in hearty, ha ha. I mean as in lots of hearts. Ah, nice, Corinne. Happy to enable. Happy to enable. Okay, now let's pop this back here for a second. And I'll show you all the celebration stuff at the end. So everything I'm showing you so far, you can purchase from the 5th of January. And then these sales, I do need a piece of paper here to show you the pattern. And then from the sale, of the, from what you've spent, you can then earn celebration products at every $90. So this is printed vellum. So we have a beautiful leaf design here. So this is sweet sorbet behind it. So you get two sheets of that. And then we have a gorgeous polka dot. I can never, ever, ever go buy a polka dot. I think polka dots are extremely versatile. So are leaves. And so are diagonal stripes. So these are the diagonal stripes. I like that it's not uniform. It adds extra interest that it's not uniform and it's a bit playful. So I really, really like all these vellums. You know, I normally, except for this current holiday catalogue or mini catalogue that is ending, I didn't get the snowflake um, vellum, but that's okay. Okay, next paper I have, I'm going to have to make sure on my next order that I do get all the papers. This paper is called Enjoy the Journey. So, oh, we are caught on the edge again. So this is a bit of an adventuring, um, it goes with some awesome adventuring camping style. So this is a great cut apart sheet. So you can get two mountain ranges in two color stories. And you've got, oh, that's an awesome B-side. Right? But I could create a great scene without adventuring with these, which is why I like this. So this is kind of, it's alluding to... A forest, but it's quite abstract. Oh, love those. That's nice. That's just great looking tiles. Okay. What's next? Oh, some waves. Also, they're all quite abstract. I like that. Oops. And then we, oh, the triangles on the back. And then, or oh, is this two-sided? I'm going to have to pull this one out. It is double-sided. So you've got like a, maybe a sunrise and a sunset. So I actually really like that. I oh, see, I didn't because I don't do snowflakes, Corinne. But this one I like. Oh, look at that back. We have done similar patterns to this before. But it is a very versatile one. Hold on one second here. Right. No, my papers did not go back together. Ha, ah, yes, they did. Just got to kill it with kindness, I say. Ah, another double one. Let me grab this out. This is great. So I like how they've got two colour stories. So you kind of get more paper for your buck which is great. Then we've got, oh, look at that starry sky. That's gorgeous. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to leave this one on top. 
So our starry sky is that one, I think. Yep, that was our second last. And then I think we have another two-way colour story. So that one is quite abstract. Well, they're, they're the same, but a different colour story. Like that, then we've got that. That's almost like going along with highlighters and doing that. But very, very versatile B-sides. I like this paper more than what I thought. Doesn't, isn't that always the way? You go, oh yeah, I like the B-sides, but I actually like both sides. Hmm, there you go. You like the back with the stars, yeah, always so versatile. Stars, always, always. So this one is a specialty paper. It is ready to ride. So we have a whole um, suite of motorbikes and this is the paper. So it has a foil treatment on back and a print, but it is also double sided. So you've got all the road signs and then you've got all the tire tracks. Ooh, an orange checker plate. Ah, oh, look at the spanners. That's cool. Because I do have Lavender who loves, loves, loves cars. And then you've got all the road houses that you'd stop at on the back. And then we've got all nuts. And then you've got, oh, I might have to take this out. So this is actually a cut apart sheet. So this would make great. So what I would do, I would cut these out and use them as the focus on the card, which is good because I didn't buy the stamp set, as I said. So I could definitely make three, three, seven. I could make 22 cards quite easily using this cut apart sheet. Or I could make less if I, like what I could do, I could lay it together, um, maybe more the background, the background cards. But 22 cards I could make using both of these cut apart sheets. That's pretty good. And then just put a generic sentiment on them. I think that's a bit of a challenge to myself, you know. Okay, so we have, oh wow. That's great. All the gear. I'm really liking this. Love the checker plate or the checker board. Then we have this star. And then we these are the bikes. So I'm assuming the dies will cut out these bikes. But that's pretty cool. Oh, the ideas are flowing, everyone. Okay, next up. I do have some specialty paper, which is the textured shimmer paper. So this is, it's like got a stripe in it. It's like got a stripe. That is really like weird cool. And you get two of this is balmy blue actually both sides work equally as well so it's not it's like a full double sided sheet this is white but it's an opally white because you've got the shimmer and then this is shaded spruce is my assumption i shall check on the back and see my colors balmy blue shaded spruce and white Hello, Lori. How are you? Just showing off some upcoming products from the mini catalog. Now we are on to free products. So these are the things you can earn out of the um, celebration catalog. So let me show you. This is the celebration catalog. So for every $90 you spend in Australia, I know it's different increments around the world, but in Australia it's 90. So I have already shown some celebration products. So these are the ones I earned with this order. This is called 
sending support and you've got lots of supportive sentiments in there which I really really like and they're very very useful so this might be one that might stay in my stash for those times that you can't find the words and do you know what I have totally knocked myself here what oh, there you go that's better okay so I've got sending support. We've got I never would have got this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge myself to use it. This is thanks a bunch and it's very Eastery. It's carrots. Everything's coming up carrots. Do I think I will really use that as a sentiment? No. But let's see what I do with it. I want to see what other people do with it. It's cute, but it's not necessarily something I'd go for. But hey, free is free, right? So these are two of the designer series papers. This one is called Favoured Flowers. And this does coordinate with a suite in the main catalogue, as does the carrots, or as do the carrots, shall I say. I will try and... So the carrots... No, it doesn't say coordinate with anything. So there you go. I'm just opening up just off screen here. So no one knows that right. So this one coordinates with the fragrant flowers bundle in the mini catalog. Okay, so we've got the nice cabbage roses and they are heavily detailed, very heavily detailed, but let's see what we've got here. So we're looking at very rich colours. Oh, wow. You know, I'm a purple fan and that would make a very, very simple card. Look at the back. The coordination is amazing. More purple. So we're definitely on the black background. Wow. The three colours together look wonderful as well. Oh, nice. Nice patterns on the back. And we've got more sparse. So these, these you could definitely cut out or you could just leave them as is. Bit of fresh freesia on the back. So are they... I think the front ones are, are definitely cabbage flowers. But I think these are more um, dahlias, dahlias, however you would like to say. Yes, I know. Mine... Mine took eight days to be shipped. So it was shipped, but I had to wait eight days for it to arrive. So I do I do understand. Um, I really wasn't expecting this until the middle of next week. So I was very surprised, Lisa, when I got it in the mail. So this one you can earn for free, which is awesome. And now we've got the day at the farm and this goes with the on the farm bundle so it's just a bundle but oh these are super cute so i'm waiting for frankie to do his animal sounds and then i'll make him something <laughs> so i've got the cute plaids on the back so the cows in the trees and then we've got this awesome cartoon scene on the back and we have the silos, the barn, the chickens, the sheep, the cows. And on the back, oh, that's quite a nice hessianish kind of background. And we've got the chicks and the ducks and the hens. And the, oh my God, what are they called? A, wi a wind, it's not a windmill. I'm not yelling out today because he'll laugh at me. I think it's awfully cute. Then you've got the chick wire on the back, but no one of you is going to tell me what it is. And then you've got this complete scene background. So this would be great to frame and put in a kid's room or something. It's just beautiful. No, is it? See, I think a windmill's... I really do think of windmills more as like the the Holland windmills because these aren't solid, but I suppose it is a windmill. Okay. 
and then you've got oh you've got all the produce you've got capsicum i know you call them peppers um cucumber broccoli snow peas radish corn broccoli yum hmm cute that is very cute oh we've got some onions too Oh, I like that. So this is free and it does go with, or free with purchase, should I say. Free with purchase and you can um, earn it with the On The Farm bundle. So the On The Farm bundle is actually $90. So you can buy just the door and earn the paper to go with it. Yeah, I know. I wanted to call it a windmill too, Lisa, but I was just second-guessing myself. Um, that is everything that came out of my box. So, we I showed you majority of what I got. I'm going to have to go back through and do a um, check of what I got and what I didn't get. So that will be interesting um, to see because I was pretty sure I ordered everything because I ticked everything off. So, oh, oops, not showing you the inside there. Um, so I've got the mini catalogue, 5th of January, you can purchase from that. And then from the 5th of January to the 28th, you can earn out of celebration. So if you want to have a look at the products that I got in my previous unboxing i do have the link below in the description um i'm pretty sure i do i did put it there and i'm pretty sure i press save let me check oh no press save now i did not press save so it should be there now um if you wanted to refresh to go back to have a look at my part one um, if you have any questions about any of the products, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I am, am going to be doing a paper share, um, but obviously I don't have all the papers yet. Um, and I cannot accept any money for a paper share until the 5th of January. But if you are interested in the paper share and you're in Australia, please reach out. It will be uh, six by six papers and um i have a price and then it is plus postage to you so i hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend i hope you've enjoyed what i've shown you today i will be back on tuesday on facebook doing a live and i think we will be making a kit because it's part of my mum's christmas present and it's a kit i received in the mail the other day with ivy's um sets that i have bought her for christmas from the current mini catalog that is finishing so don't forget you can't purchase from these just yet but we do have the last chance list going from the mini catalog so all the things that are retiring we have the clearance rack that has been updated at the moment a special with me if you purchase 90 dollars i have prize envelopes that you can choose and receive a prize and when all my prize envelopes are claimed everyone goes into the draw for a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine no 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 that's just not happening at the moment brenton i have boxes and things to post before i get to that i have to get my christmas cards in the mail but um yes your gift is certainly not forgotten i will be showing that probably with my birthday cards and my last two months of team swaps closer to christmas <laughs> when we're probably all card made out and we can just sit and have a chat and a look at all the creations have an amazing weekend and i will see you on tuesday over on facebook so make sure you like and follow um so you receive notifications of when i go live i will see you soon bye